Good morning to all. I am Mani, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Dr. N. G. P. Institute of Technology. So in this class, I am going to do derive the expression for height of the watt governor. So there are before we get into that. So main, what is the function of governor? So the function of governor is to regulate the speed when the fluctuation in the load. So there are basic two types of governor is there. One is centrifugal governor and the inertia governor. So we are going to this the what governor is coming into the category of centrifugal governor. So now we can derive the height of the governor, height of the what governor. So now first let us assume the small m as the mass of the ball in kg. Then the upper one the lower one are links under arms of the what governor. Then W is the weight of the governor in newton. Then omega is the angular velocity of the arm about the axis. The axis about the axis, which will be the arm will be rotating. That is the angular velocity of the arm. The next one is the r. R is the radius of the ball, which is the distance between the axis of the arm and the center of the ball. The next one is the F C. So F C is the centrifugal force which acts on the arm of the ball. So next one is the next important term in the watt governor is h. So h means height of the governor, which is the distance between the center of the ball and the pivoted axis p. So in this class we are going to derive the height. Now, so this so due to these three forces, that is weight of the ball, centrifugal force f, and tension in the arm, the ball is in centrifugal equilibrium condition. Now taking moment. The so first thing is. Taking moment about that point O. So moment means force into perpendicular distance. Here two forces are acting. The one is the F C. So F C into the perpendicular distance is H. So F C into H, which is equal to the W, the weight of the ball into the perpendicular distance is R. So W into R. Now we can write. The W as m into g into r. Now, what is the formula for centrifugal forces? M into r square into omega into h, which is equal to m g r. So our aim is we have to derive h, that is height of the governor. Now we can cancel the remaining terms. We will get the h as Then m will be cancelled. Then r will be cancelled. H will be cancelled. H is equal to g by omega square. The formula is omega r. Omega square. Omega r. R is equal to. 